Welcome to the Be Happy Now Show. Flex your soul connection muscle and be your inner guide to fulfillment and purpose. I'm Claudia Sam. If you know that you're here for a bigger reason, this is the place to be. Together, we ditch the self-care guilt and quit the go, go, go with less fear and more trust. Tune in to living life in alignment with your full potential. The Be Happy Now show starts now. Hey, do you ever ask yourself, okay, is this voice inside of me my intuition or is it fear or is it worry or is it doubt or who is talking inside my body? (laughs) I'm Claudia Sam. I'm so happy to be here with you on, wow, a wonderful episode about is this my intuition? You know, the Be Happy Now show is all about flexing your soul connection muscle, being your own inner guide, anchoring yourself in your self-confidence, being in your light. And in order to show up in life, feeling empowered, feeling like you got this, knowing where you're going, moving through the challenges, the bumps on the road, all of it, One of the key ingredients to being in alignment with our spiritual self is to recognize your intuition, to hear it and then actually listen to it because it's one thing to hear it, but then if we do nothing and we keep pushing it down and we keep letting the voice of fear, of resistance, of, well, the low vibe negativity move forward when and we let that voice take over time after time, then the intuition doesn't stop talking. It just, the voice just gets lower in volume. Yeah. I want to tell you a powerful story that changed my life. It is a personal story. And I'm going to tell you this. Because this is this was one of the moments that was a pivotal moment for me to always trust my intuition. I'm not saying that when we don't listen to our intuition, we always go through a horror story. Okay? That's not what I mean. This is my experience. This is how I lived it. And now, listening to my intuition, I feel more empowered. And over the next few weeks, you will hear me talk about the theme of feeling empowered. Next week, October 13th, 2022, will be our live Q&A and pop-up workshop on the theme of being empowered. You'll be really able to tap into your intuitive superpowers and access your inner confidence so that you can live life with empowerment. So if you want to join us for the pop-up workshop, the live Q&A and coaching session next week, it's free when you join the Be Happy Now Show crew. All you have to do is go to thebehappynowshow.com, okay, thebehappynowshow.com, and click on the button that says tune in, we- tune in weekly or reminders to tune in weekly, okay? Click on that button and then you'll be into the Be Happy Now show crew and we'll get you into the pop-up workshop. Here's what happened. In 2018, I owned a condo in the city of Montreal and I was living in the province of Alberta. So Montreal is in the province of Quebec in Eastern Canada and Alberta is in Western Canada. Okay. I was living in Alberta and I was renting out the condo that I owned in Montreal. The tenant was like his lease was up. And so I took the opportunity to rent it to someone else while I was visiting Montreal, but I, while I was in, well, while I was visiting my friends and my family in Montreal, it was my sister's graduation party. I had a schedule. I was there for like four days. It was in, it was out. I was going for business. I was going to sign the lease with this new tenant. And then I was going back to the party and then back home in Alberta. That was my to-do list. I had a plan. When I got to the condo to sign the lease, I had a bunch of 
signs and inner indications that something was off. There was this thing that kept popping up and the thing was words. They were words. The words said, something's off. This isn't right. That feels weird. You shouldn't Actually, I don't think, I don't remember hearing the you shouldn't part, but I remember it feeling off, feeling weird. But here's what happened. That was my intuition. The voice of the head of logic of what makes sense was louder. It had been louder for all these years. I wasn't used to listening to my intuition. At that time, it made more sense hence the other voice that came in, sign the paper, get it over with, take the money and go back to the party. The, did something like that ever happen to you when you're like, you're here, it makes sense, just do it. Something feels off, off but no, come on, you just got to go, you just got to do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> that part of us that is afraid to miss something, that part of us that thinks that logicing our way through life is the best practices and makes us a good person. Who would I have been if I hadn't signed the lease and had turned him away? That person who signed the lease, who I signed the lease with, because that person turned out to be an identity thief. He was signing the lease under the name of someone else. I only got payment for the first month. And then for about two and a half months, maybe three, it was, for lack of better words, a hell of an experience because I had this identity thief in my condo, in my house, in my home, that's what it, that's what it was. That person was sleeping in my bed, like was using my stuff what else were they doing? It, it felt like an invasion. It felt so disrespectful. It felt like the worst case scenario had happened. At that moment, I knew, gosh, I didn't listen to my intuition. I didn't listen to that voice. I shut it up. From that moment, I practiced a lot of self-love, a lot of self-compassion, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of different self-care practices and self-development coaching tools that I used to bring me back to that was a life lesson. That was a soul assignment. Of course, in the moment, well, let's just say that anger took over a lot of the time. That was in 2018. Fast forward to today. The way I use the inner voices is completely different. And I'm here today to help you kind of tune in to which voice is what. Okay. So there are three steps I wanted to share with you. Three steps to find out if that inner voice that you hear if it's the one of your intuition, or if it's the voice of some other part of you. Okay, the first step is become aware that there are many parts of you who might be speaking internally. Like in that situation for me, when I was in the condo ready to go back to the party, but I had this opportunity to sign the lease right then and there, I was gonna fly five hours back to Alberta in my mind, so the head part of me was like, it doesn't make sense to go back without someone with without a lease. This needs to happen now. That is so it can be seen as that's the word, that's the voice of the head, could be seen as that's the voice of the logic pros and cons part of me. It could be that was the voice of the part of me that is afraid of the unknown. Because if I was to not sign the lease, then I would have been left with a condo's mortgage to pay and no person to rent it out and to pay me back. So that part was perhaps the unknown, perhaps the uns uncertainty and the 
quote unquote, no guarantee. And so the part of me that doesn't want to have no guarantee was speaking louder than the intuition. The intuition, the part of me that could see, seriously, the person who came into my condo, the, the, I can feel it almost as I'm reliving this, but I'm detaching from it in the sense that I remember being in there and he was walking around the place as if he was owning it. And I noticed that and it, it felt there was something inside of me that was both the voice of something's weird and there was also a feeling in my body. Okay. So when we are aware of, wait a minute, is the voice, are the voices speaking to me from a feeling? Is the voice speaking to me by actual words? Is the voice speaking to me through visions? Because you get to hear your intuition in a variety of ways. I hear my intuition in all of these ways. And right now today, the goal is to help you really tune into the speaking voice inside of you that might be your intuition, that might be the one of the head of the fear of the worry of the inner child you, of the disempowered self that is afraid, that doesn't want no guarantee, that prefers the plan, that doesn't feel safe without a plan, without the organization, without the knowing of what's going to happen next. And the heart has a tiny part when all of our, when, when during our whole life we've led by all these other more lower vibe energies, the heart energy that is higher in frequency, that is more open and free, has a hard time seeping its way through. So the first step to tell whether the voice that you hear is your inner intuition, your inner guidance, your inner wisdom, you can call it your higher self, you get to, to be aware that there are many parts of you that can speak. It's not about um, noticing, oh, that's the traumatic part of me that is speaking. Yeah, maybe it is, and it doesn't have to be so intricate. It can be very simple, head or heart. It can be ego or intuition. It could be fear or trust. It could be doubt or confidence. It can be disempowered self or empowered self. There are many other parts of us. And this can be an opportunity for you to make it super easy and super simple for you to just be aware. Oh, there are different parts of me. Which one is speaking? Okay. And in the, in the example that I shared with you, both were speaking, but I let the fear-based, worry-based, logic, head, ego voice speak louder because I hadn't flexed my soul, connection, my soul connection muscle at that time. I didn't know how. And that's why you're here so that you get to know how, so that you get to practice it for yourself. In the tune-in method, that's what you learn. Part of it is what you learn because you get to tune into yourself, tune into all of the different parts of you. And if that feels like, ooh, I'm curious, you know, what would it look like to flex my soul connection muscle repetitively using the tune in method, then please go to tuneinmethod.com. Okay. Step one was becoming aware that there are many parts of you who might be speaking internally and kind of just going, okay, there, you know, it could be all of them. Maybe you identify which is what, but step two I'm offering you three questions that you can ask yourself to really know, like, let's say you narrow it down to, okay, the voices actually that I'm hearing is the head and the heart, or I'm really hearing, well, the logic and the trust. I'm really, really hearing that those are the two energies. Okay. Those are the two voices. So. The three questions to ask yourself to recognize between these two, which is which, here are these questions. Ready? The first question that I like to ask myself is, am I negotiating with myself? Am I negotiating with myself? Because the negotiator 
That's a part of you. The negotiator is the logical mind. The negotiator wants to win. The negotiator has arguments. The negotiator is really good at making pros and cons lists and proving that they're better than you. That's what the negotiator does. Okay. Proving their case. So if you find yourself negotiating with yourself internally, it's probably those two voices, the negotiator and the trust or the heart or the love or the abundance or the confident or the empowered you. So am I negotiating with myself? Okay. I find myself negotiating with myself often. And because I know that it's an inner conversation between different parts of me, I let it happen. I don't engage until I stop the negotiator and I'm like, okay, the heart is winning. The soul is winning here because I'm a soul in this human body and ego, you're not going to take over right now. Yep. I talk to my inner voices like that. <laughs> okay. So am I negotiating with myself? That's the first of three questions in our second step to telling if the inner voice is your intuition. Second question is, is this anxiety, is this fear, is this worry talking? In other words, this is where you feel it in your body. You can really go, okay, am I negotiating myself internally? Is the discourse happening like a battle? And then in the body, so mentally was the first question. And then physically in the body, does it feel like your heart beat is raising and you're acting from a reactive mode? Does it feel like you're afraid and you're starting to sweat? You're starting to maybe smell like stink a little bit, or is it maybe your palms are sweaty or your, the soles of your feet, or maybe you're starting to feel like you got to go to the bathroom. Sometimes this is the body saying, I'm nervous, I'm anxious, I'm stressed, I'm worried. And sometimes as a defense mechanism, we respond and we react really quickly. And from that place of worry or fear or tension or discomfort, we act. So when you're trying to figure out which voice is what, ask yourself, is it anxiety and the fear and the worry and the discomfort that I'm feeling? Is it that that's talking? Am I speaking? Am I hearing the voice that's acting and speaking out from that place of within me? So first question, am I negotiating with myself? Second, is this anxiety, fear, or worry talking and really feel it in your body? Oftentimes when I have headaches, for example, or I feel pressured or I feel like a rise of heat in my body, it almost feels like anxiety is coming and creeping up. I know that that's not the time to go answer an email or to go call someone new or to make a decision. It's a time to stop and breathe. Yeah, stop, pause, breathe. Be with the sensation. This is super important. Being with the sensation. We're not trying to override it. We're not trying to bypass it, ignore it, but rather we're wanting to be with it. And we want to know if we're really reacting and responding from that way so that we can choose whether we want to do that or not. The third question to ask yourself to know if the inner voice you're hearing is your intuition is, does it feel scary? Does it feel scary to listen to that intuitive voice? Okay. Does it feel scary? In the example that I gave you, it felt way scarier to not sign the lease with that person because he was right in front of me. It was way easier. Okay. To sign the lease, get out, take the money, go to the party, go back home and deal with it later. It was way easier to do that. It wasn't scary at all to do that. It was comforting. It was reassuring. It had a relief energy, but listening. And that was the head voice. That was the logic makes sense voice that led me to having three months of hell with someone who had stolen an identity, who robbed me emotionally, physically, who, 
who triggered an experience of feeling invaded. So the intuitive voice that was saying, hey, something's off here. There's, there's something weird. I, now that I know this, the voice of the intuition is clearer. Okay. So when it is clearer now, because I did flex the soul connection muscle, hence why I developed the tune in method, part of the reason. Well, now I can really notice, is it scary to go with the intuition? Because if the, if this situation was happening now, the intuitive voice, instead of stopping at this feels weird, this feels off, I probably would have paused and asked, okay, what's going on here? What are you trying to say? And the, you don't do it would have come up. Don't sign the lease would have come up. Don't do this, get out. Well, I wouldn't have negotiated with it and I would have gone, does it feel scary to just not sign it and go and not take the money and just look for someone else? Yeah, it feels scary. Doesn't feel comfortable. Feels like I'm, feels like I'm jumping out of my comfort zone and I don't want to do that. So does listening to that intuitive voice feel scary? Usually the intuition wants you to step out of your comfort zone. So it's scary because the head or the logic is so cozy in the sofa, so cozy in you know, the slippers of the comfort zone, the head, the ego, the fear, the worry, they don't want to shift out of the comfort zone. Yeah. They don't want to jump into the unknown and into uncertainty. They don't have the confidence. They don't feel empowered. It's the disempowered, lacking confidence part of you that was speaking in the head voice in situations like this and in many situations in life. So listening to the intuition often feels scary because it is an opportunity. It's like the universe serving up a platter of this is your soul alignment. This is a soul assignment and you get to step out of your comfort zone, but your intuition knows what's best for your highest good and the highest good of all. So does it feel scary? If the answer is yes, well, then probably it's your intuition. And I say probably because I don't know, I'm not in your head and every situation is different. And you know, maybe it actually feels really good and not scary at all to listen to the intuition sometimes. Great. Cool. Okay. The third step that I'm offering up to you to find out if the inner voice that you hear is the one of your intuition is to ask yourself this one soul connection coaching question. Ready to hear it? What would your empowered self do? What would your empowered self do? If you were really choosing to listen to any of the voices in your head from an empowered place, which voice would you choose to hear and to listen to? If you could decide from your most empowered place, which voice would you choose? And that might be the scary route. That might be the intuitive route. That might be the jumping out of your comfort zone route. And guess what? Your intuition is only there to support you. Your intuition is only there by pure loving awareness of who you are. Your intuition is only there to shower you with magic, with shower you with love. And then if you come back to the intuition and you resist it, then you're not completing the whole circle of listening to your intuition. So once you ask yourself, what would your, what would my empowered self do and make a choice to listen to either of the voices you choose, which one you get to listen to from an empowered place, then comes consistent practice to trust, consistent practice to trust. Yes, that means anytime the voice of fear or worry and anxiety or lack or disempowering, disempowerment or lack of confidence, anytime those, those voices come back in and try to negotiate this decision that you made, 
that's when you know that you get to practice trust even more. Yes, 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 yes. If you want to play a little bit more in this empowerment energy, I'm opening up a few spots this month and the next. So just for a few weeks, I will be offering a bonus call, okay? No charge, no cost, no strings attached, no sales. It's an empowerment activation, the empowerment activation call is open to any new client. If we are not working together yet, then this is an opportunity for you to come and play. And in the empowerment activation call, you will be invited to gain clarity on what your right now vision gets to be. On the empowerment activation call, you'll get to access the hidden confidence within you to take actions towards that vision. And you'll also feel supported and lit up to move forward on your path. So I'm offering this up. I'm serving this up for you. Listen to your intuition. What would your empowered self do? Would she, he, they, would they pick me up on my offer, take me up on my offer and go ahead and find a spot, a time that works for you in the next few days? Yeah, well, I would be so excited to speak with you. So the link will be in the show notes. Otherwise, I'm going to speak out the link in case you don't see it. The link is calendly.com forward slash Claudia Sam Soul Coaching.com forward slash empowered. Calendly.com forward slash Claudia Sam Soul Coaching forward slash empowered. If I said Claudia Sam Soul Coaching.com, I meant Claudia Sam Soul Coaching forward slash empowered. I was so excited to help you activate your empowerment and feel empowered and lit up and supported. Thank you so much for being here and for listening to the Be Happy Now show. This is one of the first steps towards accessing your inner confidence, choosing to listen and to tune in right here, right now. Woo, I celebrate that. All right. Talk to you soon next time. Bye. You've been listening to the Be Happy Now show with me, Claudia Sam. Flex your soul connection muscle and be your inner guide to fulfillment and purpose. Tune in live every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. You are worthy of being you and of connecting to what stops you from living the life you are meant to live. Access more soul connection coaching at claudiasamcoaching.com.